Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how the fan limit control works and what temperature settings to adjust each of these three pins to. So the fan limit control is located typically right behind the electrical gas valve and it's located in the heat exchanger area. So if you have a, you typically you're going to have a cover on this, uh, but this main job is to control the fan on this side or the blower motor, and then this side is a limit switch to make sure that your furnace does not overheat. If you have a tab over here, like a button, that is just to override to turn your fan on manually. A power wire comes in here and it gets jumped across to here. Some fan limit controls actually have a jumper. Uh, this connection right here is normally open until this right here turns because it's getting heated up enough in order to connect the electrical connections for the blower motor to turn on. These connections right here are typically closed and this is your limit switch. All limit switches are typically in a closed position unless they open, say that there's a problem, and in this case it would be as if uh, the furnace was overheating or the blower motor was not turning on or the blower motor was at a low speed. Now if you look on the back of the fan limit control, it actually has this bimetal right here, and as it heats up, it starts turning, and as it turns, it rotates this dial right here. This rotates clockwise and then when the ignition assembly shuts off, it turns counterclockwise. So if you look at these three dials right here, you have the first one right here, that's when the blower motor turns off. And we typically set that from anywhere from like right around 85 to 90 degrees. This second one is when the blower motor turns on. And that one we typically set at 120 degrees. And the third one you can set anywhere is maybe around 180 degrees. You can even set it up possibly up to 200, but I typically pull it back from 200, right around 180. Um, and that is just in case that the blower motor does not turn on, you need to be able to turn off the ignition assembly. So right here, this is the limit. Okay, the power comes in here and it's normally closed, which means that you have resistance between the two, right here and right here. So if we were to test between here and right here, we should have 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance. So if this dial was to turn all the way until it hit the limit, now you see that the uh, wire connection inside is disconnected. So you have OL, meaning over limit. All right, so anytime that the fan limit is below 180 degrees, it's actually connected and the ignition assembly can fire. Now over on this side you have your power coming in and right here you should have oh well what you do have so now when we go ahead and turn the dial this would be as if the uh, fan limit was at 120 degrees you see that we have 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance meaning these two connections are now connected and that's when the blower motor can turn on when we take this dial backwards you see at 90 degrees the connection has now opened up and it reads OL. So that means that the blower motor is off. Now the reason that we have this set at 90 degrees for when the fan turns off, the reason for that is because sometimes the adjustment for the bimetal right here might get a little off. And we wanna make sure that our fan actually does shut off. So we wanna make sure that this 90 degrees is higher uh, than what the temperature is set at on the thermostat. So that's why we set it at typically like 15 degrees, maybe 20 degrees higher than what it is set at in the building. Uh, the 120 degree fan on, which is the second uh, pin right here, the reason we have it set at 120 is say a building is 70 degrees on the inside. So the temperature rise on a gas furnace is typically around 50 degrees. So 70 degrees in the house plus 50 equals 120 and that's why we have that second dial set at 120. An oil-fired furnace might be 60 degree temperized, so if it's 70 degrees in the building, you know, it might be continually operating at 130 degrees. Uh, but either way, it's okay to go ahead and leave this set at 120 degrees, regardless of whether you have an oil-fired furnace or a natural gas or propane furnace. The temperature rise across the furnace, meaning from the return air to the supply air, should not rise to 60 degrees and 70 degrees and 80 degrees and then eventually end up kicking out the, the limit set at 180 degrees. That would mean, that would be an indication that either you're over firing the burners or that the blower motor is on too low of a speed. So you need to be able to push more air in order to reject that heat into the building. So that's how it works. 
If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, check out patreon.com slash acservicetech, where we're rewarding the patrons there by adding extra content, such as articles, videos, and answering questions. And if you're looking for the tools used in this video, such as the DL479 uh, or DL469 multimeter by UEI, I have that link down in the description below. And I usually take my temperature rise with the uh, Fieldpiece ST4. It actually has two uh, K-type uh, bead temp sensors. I have that listed down in the description below as well. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.